all to end the artificial fluoridation of our water supply once and for all. Poison in the water. No you got fluoride. it. No fluoride. And you will get ignored. I can testify yeah. for the past year and a half. We're not accountable to the public. I keep getting bounced back and forth between city hall and public health. People I didn't even elect. No one. All the government employees making on the sunshine list, hundred thousand dollars a year, one hundred twenty-six thousand, and no one wants to take any responsibility. Yeah. It's always call him. Not my problem. Make it your problem. When the Toronto City Councilor gets contacted, they have to record it. All of a sudden, they start getting a lot of email, a lot of letter mail, a lot of phone calls. A few eyebrows might start rising. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For every one email the government gets. They consider 200 other people feel the same way, but are too lazy to write. So one email makes a difference. Yes. And that's why it's so incredible that we have over 1,600 signatures on our petition now. That means that with 1,600 signatures, there's over 100,000 people that think the same way that we do. Fluoride is being added to Toronto's water supply. It is toxic waste from the phosphate fertilizer industry. It is not naturally occurring calcium fluoride. Toxic. It is a toxic waste byproduct of the phosphate fertilizer industry that we want it out of our water. It's poison in the water. You can convince people to drink toxic waste for their teeth. I don't know what this world is coming to. I really don't. I don't know. I think my favorite one is that says uh, fluoride is an inside job. <laughs> it's a poison and it should not be given to our children. For years, people have tried to get a warning on Toronto water bills to let people know that you should not give fluoridated water to your baby. Paul Connick has been preaching about this for 30 years, how mother's breast milk contains such a small amount of fluoride, now it's a hundred times greater than what it used to be. We have to get this poison out of our water supply once and for all. Take five minutes of your day. Go to coughcough.ca and fluoridetoronto.com. Go to the Fluoride Action Network and you will see 30 years of research showing that fluoride is ridiculous. 30 years of research and we have 40 councillors, half of whom are listening to the opinion of one person who was not democratically elected and they make their decision to medicate the, the water of 4 million of us. The report from the medical officer of health that our city councillors are referring to uh, are referring us to is garbage. It is garbage. Well, it's a nice rainy day here in Toronto, <laughs> September 21st, 2013. We have a little rally, a uh, little peaceful assembly going on at Toronto City Hall to get the artificial fluoridation halted once and for all. The chemical used to fluoridate Toronto's tap water is called fluoride. However, it's a lie. What is being used to fluoridate our tap water is hydrofluorosilicic acid, a toxic chemical. Um, and it is an artificial chemical because it is not naturally occurring. Fluoride can occur naturally in the form of calcium fluoride, but the fluoride being used for our water supply is hydrofluorosilicic acid. It is toxic waste. Thank you. One by one, people are waking up. And we will not stand for toxic waste in our water any longer. Do the research yourself. Take five minutes of your day and you will find very quickly that the government is adding a fluoride toxic waste byproduct to our water supply. We are waking up and so are they. Toronto City Council will hear our voice. We want the fluoride out of the water supply once and for all. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here today. What are you doing here today? Protesting against the uh, fluoridation of uh, Toronto's uh, municipal tap water. We're trying to get the uh, hydrofluoric uh, acid or whatever it's called. Toxic. They call it fluoride when really it's hydrofluorosilicic acid. It is hydrofluorosilicic acid that's being scraped out of smokestacks and dumped into the water. Hydrofluorosilicic acid, I always have problems saying that. get uh, hydrofluorosilicic acid out of Toronto's tap water? Well, I'm from Montreal originally. I just moved here over a year ago, and uh, just drinking the tap water for a year, I could feel uh, 
taste and feel a difference in the tap water here and uh, I had to buy a filter that filters out the fluoride I couldn't take it anymore. I'm not used to it um, so I can't imagine kids who are brought up on it uh, from birth what it's like but uh, I could definitely uh, sense a difference in the year that I was here drinking it and I like I said, had to get a filter for it so I'm, I'm totally against it. There's a lot of uh, problems with it. I think a lot of places have made it illegal. I think uh, we should too. Toronto would send a big message. I think it might help get it out of all of North America. And Paul caught it when he came here to do his talk. He said that if we can get the fluoride out of Toronto's tap water, this can be the catalyst for the rest of Canada and North America. Yeah! Woo. You want it out of the water supply. Yeah. Get the medication out of the water supply. Just keep calling City Council, keep emailing them, keep letting them know, okay? Some of the councillors I've talked to do not even know what the chemical being added into our water is called. They don't even know what water fluoridation is. And yet they voted to add it in. It's completely ridiculous. I've gotten emails back from a few city councillors who said they didn't have time to meet with me. Some said they were continuing to monitor the community's stance on water fluoridation and they would get back to me. Um, I've sent them follow-up emails to ask how they're going to go about doing that and I'm still waiting for replies. They have the chance now to, to right the wrong that's been going on in this country for so many years. The people who are voting these things in, I don't think they even know what they're voting on half the time. I've sent emails off to councillors, I've not got any responses back. So kudos to everyone out here who wanted to show them that we're not made of sugar and hopefully you guys can hit the internet and research for yourselves. So you're saying you've, you've tried to email them and they, you're getting no response? I've emailed a couple of counselors. I actually uh, don't recall the name at the moment. I could follow up with you on that one. But um, there was uh, in particular counselor that I had uh, tried to contact um, who had voted on wanting to learn more about the issue the last time that the vote came around. And I wanted to know if she has now learned more and if she was uh, going to recognize the studies and the uh, information that even if there's a mere risk, we should not have this in our water. If they want to have uh, fluoridation uh, for certain people for, for various uh, medical reasons, if that's what they feel it's good for, then it should be um, diagnosed and it should be uh, prescribed to those individuals and not um, given to the masses because it's not good for everybody. It's going great. A lot of people came out despite the pouring rain. People are really dedicated to this cause and we all just want the fluoride out of our water once and for all. And I think we can see how badly everyone wants it out of the water by the fact they're willing to stand out here in the rain like this. Drink your toothpaste if you want if you want to drink fluoride. Exactly. Actually don't because it's poison. Because common sense will tell you that drinking toxic waste cannot be good for you. I don't even think you need to have a scientific discussion about this really. It's called toxic waste for a reason. Because it's toxic. Toxic chemicals being added to our water supply. Okay, how do you feel about that? I know, because you guys petitioned to get it out, right? Absolutely. Yeah. See, Montreal knows. Montreal got the fluoride out of their water. I've only lived here for two years. Uh, born in Toronto, but raised in Vancouver. Have perfect teeth. No dental fluorosis, as the Lower Mainland does not uh, fluoridate their water. And when I moved here and found out that uh, they add fluoride to the water here, I was uh, a little bit uh, disappointed and um, I wanted to do something about getting it out. So that's when I uh, inquired around and um, I got connected with uh, folks uh, in Toronto, uh, active in trying to get it removed. and. Uh, and the rest is history. When you take a product that costs seven to eight thousand dollars a ton to dispose of and sell it for a thousand, we're talking about billions of dollars saved on an annual basis. That's the reason why the United States and Canada are so heavily fluoridated. Almost all of Europe has gotten fluoride out of the water yeah. or just doesn't even have it. Why do you think we're lagging in behind so much here in Canada and the US? Why 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 isn't there a push just like there is in these other countries? I'm, you know, I'm not sure if it's financially motivated or if it's just that our politicians aren't as aware of the health risks as those politicians are. Yeah, I really don't know. But like I said, let's just keep educating them. Let's send them the information so they have it and they really don't have an excuse. You know, if we show them that it's been associated with lowered IQ, cancer, thyroid dysfunction, kidney damage, 
dental and skeletal fluorosis, and they still say, let's keep it in the water supply, then that's, that's very, very disheartening. But I, I have, I'm, I'm hopeful that they will not do that. Email Mayor Rob Ford, call his office, Call your city councilor's office, find out what ward you're in. All right, Mayor Ford and my councilor. I don't know who it is. This is the first time I ever thought of who it is. Email your councilor. Call them. Call Mayor Rob Ford and tell him that you want the fluoride out of the water supply. Yes, 99% of that fluoride ends up back into the environment, but why do I have to drink it? Why is it there? Why are we wasting my tax dollars to put this toxic waste into our water supply? Children under the age of five should not drink fluoridated water. You should not mix it with baby formula. It's a health risk. There, there is doubt about having this in our water. There's doubt. Get it out. Out of our water supply. I hope this will be on like the Toronto uh, Star or something. We got picked up by the Sun. Oh, the Sun? Yeah, they put an article in yesterday. Yeah, I think the online article said uh, fluoride foes to gather at City Hall, and then today it was, you know. Uh, I think it was a protest at City Hall, so it wasn't uh, so... Because uh, uh, we want the fluoride out of Toronto's water once and for all! Yes! It's an older one, uh, well, old for me, but it's uh, it's actually my first InfoWars shirt of many. Um, it's uh, poison in the water. I'll even wear it to church. You know, wake people up there. So what do you think? you think that these uh, politicians are going to get it out? Or? Um, I think with enough pressure, even they will succumb. This is not good for our teeth, it's destroying our health, and we did not consent to have it added into the water supply. Even the CDC acknowledges that the benefits of fluoride are topical. If you want fluoride, brush your teeth with it. You do not need to be drinking it. I've got Esca Natural Spring Water from Quebec with a... It's got 0.1 part per million of fluoride, which I assume is probably a naturally occurring calcium fluoride, given that it's a natural spring water. The Canadian government says that water fluoridation is a particularly beneficial thing for underprivileged communities, but in fact, people who are, have, are of lower socioeconomic status or whatever can't afford to filter it out are the ones who are going to be most vulnerable to these health effects. Germany, Israel. 97% of the countries are too. Why would... No, obviously not. If you, if you want, you can just sit down sometimes. Oh. And they've had this debate. Oh, they've had it. They've had it all over the world. And that's why 90% of the world has said, no, we're not going to add this toxic poison to our water. Yeah, well, we want fluoride out of the water now. Because if you don't, uh, your brain's going to tell you. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I gotta leave shortly because I got a radio show at Orion Talk Radio. Angry Beaver Radio. Check it out. I guess I can bring out my sign now. Is that is it okay? I'm not gonna get arrested for my, my little sign. <laughs> There's never a guarantee on that, but yeah, yeah. okay. Harper only cares if you're wearing a mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So far, right. science is still legal. I had to keep this dry. It came in from Hamilton, so, you know. Nice. So, there we go. That's, that's fine. We get back on the bullhorn, if you don't mind. Nice. Awesome, and uh, thank you so much for being here. Cool. All right, it's unethical, unnecessary, unproven. And it's a poison. Because it will take a while. It took a long time for a lot of us that are here today to wake up to this. We've been fed the lines all of our life, and uh, unfortunately, it's it's not all it's cracked up. We say to Toronto City Council that we do not want fluoride in our water any longer. We will get it out because we are not going anywhere. Our plan is to present the petition to City Council. Um, we're going to organize another one of these rallies when the weather is nicer. Hopefully even more people will come out. We're just going to keep going and going until we get the fluoride out of our water. Go to edfluoridetoronto.com. Sign the petition there.